Abuja married women are lesbians, especially the house ones. Yes, those of you that used to tie scarf, all of you are lesbians. And if you are a man, you want to come here and defend your wife, I will bring evidence. You are a woman, you want to come here, defend yourself, defend your sister, your relative, I will bring evidence. I'm calling all of you out, all the house married women in Abuja. <laughs> to my story, this woman came as a client, message me on Instagram that she wants to buy houses, this one. We decided to have a meeting. I went there. I went to the venue. I ordered my food. She has not yet come. When my food now came, that's when the woman now came. I was about to eat. She now said, ah, no, 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 no. Don't worry. We can have a better food upstairs. I was like, ah, but my food is already here. There's no need now. The woman, I don't know whether she, why she was in a hurry. She now gave me a check of one million. I said, ah, one million naira because I cannot get <laughs> If not, you don't go collect out. <laughs> so, are you not transcorp now? She was like, um, let's go to our executive lounge. I thought it was just one normal, you know, open space. So when we went there, apparently it's a room that she lodged. I was like, ah, just my house money. For ordinary meeting again, to buy property, you, you, this is the kind of room you lodged. Very beautiful house room, lounge, um, the dining area and everything. So we went to the lounge and sat down. This woman just removed scarf. She was like, hey, now I can order my food. I was not like, okay. I was about to take in my order now, like from the, what's it called, from the phone. She now said, but don't order anything that has pepe, because she doesn't want pepe in her own mouth. I was, I was confused here that it's not your business. Huh? And besides me, I like pepe. But I was just like, okay, let me just order, um, what's it called, fries and chicken. So I ordered my own. She, she asked her personal assistant to bring two bullets. I don't drink, but I know that bullets is not a joke. This woman joked one. Black bullets, my sister. She joked the second one. She said the campaign, she no shake. I said, ah, Alaja. <laughs> Alaja, don't be small hijab where she carry her. That one that used to wrap the whole body. She removed it. Jog one bullet, jog the second one. It's like, okay, no problem. Misha, I'm waiting for my food. I'm still trying to, you know, pitch in the reason why we're here. So as this woman was drinking, she was not even trying to talk to me. She was just making phone calls. You know when, how men used to do when they're trying to impress a girl? When they're trying to show you, say, I get money. She was just talking about millions, the deals that she has, the money, this one, billion, 500 million, this one, that one, that one, that one. So my food now finally came. I was just about to eat. The woman said, eh, wait, she wants to show me something. She stood up from her chair, walked up to me. She has already zipped down already. Like after she moved her scarf, she already zipped down. So she was showing me some kind of useless pictures. And in the process of showing me those pictures, I'm confused. She has already, you know, removed her clothes. She was left with only bra. I was, I was not like, ah, ma, please, this is not the reason why I'm here. She started shouting through the phone on my lap that I'm a hypocrite, that she sees my pictures on Instagram. She knows what I do that I stop very sexy pictures and she knows that I'm into this kind of thing. This, 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 this. I was about to leave. She now knelt down, held my hand. She said, please, I should not leave. Now, okay, initially she wanted to give me 3 million plus the 1 million Nera check she already gave me downstairs. But now she'll make it 5 million. I said, please, I'm not still interested. Me, self, I started begging her, please, that now she'll give me 5 million Nera extra plus the 1 million Nera. And again, she will make sure her husband buys the land. I was like, ma, please, I'm still not interested. I was begging her to, because myself, I want to run for my life. I was able to escape, finally. I was not just seeing my friends that I see what happened to me. They're looking at me all like, see this moment. We don't know what's in the apple for Abuja. That they, I would have done it now. That that's what they do too. If you're into this sugar baby business, leave sugar daddy, oh. follow sugar mommy, the house I want, the one where they tie hijab. Very hypo, hypo, <laughs> very hypo, critical. <laughs> but they pay very very well you better follow sugar mommies especially the house ones. <laughs> the funny thing is that you see their husbands they are all those when you see them in northern blocks judging other people that and uh, this angle of your hair is out so behind Allah, it's not good this one that one but their wives are the ones that are girls from 15 year old 20 year old married women imagine the lives of small girls. Why I'm moving here? Why do you think they even pay me pass? It's because this particular woman, they almost me. 
I saw her in one other blog, insulting one girl that uh, her clothes is too tight, this one, that one. But meanwhile, you are girls. We then pay them useless money. Me, I have evidence. So. And if people annoy me, if you trigger me, I will post faces, I will post chats, I will post the rotten pictures that they have sent to me. But my own now is, if I, am I the only one or are my friends the only ones that are experiencing this sugar mom meeting? Please, if you have your own experience, people DM you, married women, sending you all manner of pictures. If you're an Abuja girl and you have experienced this kind of thing before, please share your story with us anonymously. And let's put hands together to fight these criminal acts. And the annoying thing is that these pictures, they are very ugly at sights. The angle is terrible, rotten, rotten, private, um, <laughs> what have you. If you're an Abuja girl and you have experienced this thing, please share your story with us. Let us post it anonymously and put hands together to stop this rubbish. And if you're a hypocrite, stop this nonsense. Stop being a hypocrite. As a Hausa woman, please stop being You can't be wearing hijab and be doing rubbish. Be doing nonsense. Please. People want to see you. That's what I want to see. See, I'll be mumu. Hey, I'll be mumu. But wait, you can't want to see. Now, you know what I post online about Okunora, where they collect 195,000 pounds from Nigerians for UK because of COS, certificate of stay, sponsorship and all that. You understand? When they did that scam on those people, those people, they look for help. People will help them talk about them so that they'll forget their money back. Right. Because, like I said in the story, they don't, the, the owner of the group removed everybody from the group and deleted the group. So those people don't have anywhere to start from. But because the guy is popular on Facebook, so the women now started looking for help everywhere. They now went to go and meet Daddy Freeze. Talk to Daddy Freeze. Daddy Freeze, the scam was 300 million naira. Please use your platform to help us talk about it. Daddy Freeze charged them 150k before he go help them talk about them. The women say, okay, no wahala. They pay. See the receipts. You understand? If you die, that not Daddy Freeze name. You don't understand? As they pay, they yell, they yell where it is, they go. They can't pay that the freeze. As they pay that the freeze, now that the freeze crime life. When that the freeze can't start life now, they can't say which is that the freeze they talk, no align with their agreement. They can't say that the freeze, your headline is zero. That the freeze can't say zero, K. Okay. Now they say your headline is zero. What is happening? What is the problem? Why are you not giving us a proper attention? You know the pain we are in. That the freeze say, I am not doing a separate show for you. That one you want, that one you are talking about now is 1.5 million era if you want that kind of tension. Now you say, I am just giving you an opportunity to share your story. Now the woman say, the pain we are going through, we are talking about 300 million here. Yeah. Help me, please. That the freeze can say, uh, as you say, help me, please. Now that the freeze knock her in rates card again. Make, make reminder of in rates. See the rates card. See, see. <laughs> now you can say, kindly check my rates. Let's go live for 15 minutes. Nine for fifteen in for fifteen minutes. Now the woman can say, You could have told me this before collecting one fifty K. Daddy Freeze, I'm in pains. Help me. Now the woman say, Now Daddy Freeze say, Come on live. I can't do more than this. You are losing audience here arguing. Now the lady say, Daddy Freeze, your topic no follow. That is, you should change the topic to something that people know that they scam person. That if you say, Okay, pay me the balance and I will bring you up live. Hey, now I say, I can't do more than that. Bless you. Now the woman say, you could have told me this before. You understand? Now that the first can say, um, I, now that the first can say, I told you I charged to 50K to talk on the phone. Can you imagine? Now the woman say, upon what I have told you, upon what I have gone through, what that the first thing no send you. Now, now we are going to say, I'll be mumu. I'll be big mumu. Hey. So, that the first they call everybody, you understand? And I never hear where you retrieve body for people. Me, when we say I will see out to the end for this social media now, I don't collect one single mother, uh, five million, where she pay travel agents for over many months. They don't give her the money. I don't collect them. I don't have a person collect money where they buy car for over many months. Uh, you want a moto. You understand? They give them. That don't have another person collect seven million, three million, two million. This, even the one I never post is still dead here. And they see they cost me every day. I never even, and I never collect one error from anybody. They also have never collected a penny 
And I mean, they use my own money, they write petition. Sometimes I pay petition 150, 200k, 50k. Do you understand? We have carry go police station so that if you find the person, talk about the case. And if I can't still reach office again, to reach Oga office, not even easy first. Make all this Oga stamp up so that I'll follow up with the case. It's not even easy. Sometimes, those my police friend where they're plenty for station, I'll say, I'm for a bed. Go go Oga office. Now I'll go say, I ain't they busy. You understand? I go wine or I go wait. Sometimes I go wait too. Sometimes I go even lobby. Nobody said they ask me for money, but you know that guy will say, Baba man, buy you card now. You can't reach out on like 200. And you can't reach out on like 20k, 30, 40, 50k. So that if he's like, my God. Oh wow. And I mean that the cost pass. No problem. Anyways, and Daddy Freeze, you are very funny. You, you understand? The woman told you that she need my number. She said, Ah, please, do you have a dark man number so that I can also put mouth and help us? You tell her and say, eh, that one talks too much. That I talk too much, that even my friend Davido, that you told Davido that eh, that eh, this is your guy, how far that then Davido now told you that I beg, I am tired. I have, I have, he talks too much too. If they go bad me, they spoil my name. And this is what people don't understand. This is how the, the other day he make a post say he, he never ever do me anything before. Now for bad all these people they go spoil spoil this thing because they are friends where they do illegal things online. When we say very dark man, don't come down the poor hand for their truth. You know what I'm saying? But that's not the point of this video. Anyways, let me go to the important part of the video, right? Oh, wow. Yesterday when I made that post, post about uh, Okunora, as the guy see the pressure, the guy can't go post. He can't write wrong information circulating about me. I am waiting for a call from Frost headquarters. I also, I am also ready to go to the UK at all that, all that collected money plus advantage from people back home and give Madame Flo we come out. If if guilty, I'll be happy to face the law. If, if innocent, I will go another level. Finally, this will be settled. Right. After the guy posted this, he now went to go and make another post again. He now said, due to the people, he's now explaining what happened. He said, due to the people abusing and threatening each other in, to prevent another from happening, I removed everyone and closed the group. I like the fact that he has admitted that he was in charge of the group and that he was the one that removed people from the group and closed it. In a group where you get... Your group, where people don't contribute 195,000 pounds. Their money, the person don't carry their money wrong. They, they cry for the group. They say, please, help us. Now your group, call this woman, call it. You push all of them, you remove the group, delete them. And you say, your hand, no day. Well, if I can't petition, go. Uh, tomorrow is um, um, Sunday. This is weekend. You understand? This is weekend. Sunday, Monday, blessed Tuesday, and a public holiday. I don't know when they will come back from Salah break. Then I'll take the petition there. So you have a long gap. You understand? Now, you don't admit now, say, now you remove people from the group. Meanwhile, you again, this same you, you didn't forget what you post. You posted on December 30th, 2023, that this is Madame Flo. She's from Imo State. This is the woman that collected thousands of pounds from our people and declared that she's untouchable. I have been pampering her to start paying victims. But since two weeks now, she has refused to take my call. I discovered blah, blah, blah. So you know about it at the end of the day. Do you understand? Now, the reason why I'm saying it, and it's funny that if you see the number of evil boys who don't insult me yesterday, today, leave our brother alone. When our brother, they do something where no good, according to the evidence where they hear. Uh, now they see me, they leave him alone. How this country won't be better? The people where they can't scam uh, 195,000 pounds, who won't come help them? I get the platform now, why they use and talk? You understand? Some people say, yeah, the guy don't settle on. He don't settle on. Now the people see, they cry. Hmm? Why are we like these Nigerians? But anyways, me, I'll try my best. You understand? I will still use my money. We'll go fight the petition. Carry and go. I got to go ahead very dark, man, for this country. Don't play. Don't play. <laughs> you all will learn. <laughs> my correct, correct people, these two stories, when I hear today, he get a bill, he get a CB. But anyways, I said, let me bring this Saturday story time to you guys and entertain yourself. Don't forget to drop your opinion under the comment section out of these two stories. Which one do you think you prefer most? Which of them is more entertaining for the Saturday? Feel free to drop them under the comment section. And with that, I'm going to say thank you guys for watching. Bye, guys.